Okay. Now, as you can see, he wasn't as solid at the trot as the walk on the trot with these exercises as I would like. Now, because he's not as sure, he understands the idea, but he's not exactly positive what he's supposed to do. I'm not going to attempt these exercises at the canter because he's simply not ready. He's not fit enough. He's not prepared. And I want my horses to be really solid and comfortable with everything I'm asking him to do. So today, I'm just going to canter to both directions, let him get his own balance and feel himself and get his feet underneath of him as a baby. And we're going to start off cantering to the left. I'm just going to let him find his own balance as a baby. Let him find his feet, put his feet underneath himself. Oh, ask him to settle just a little bit. Oh. Oh, oh. For a horse 30 days under tack, this is about all I can expect, and that was extremely good. I'm really, really proud of him. I don't want to push him. I want to make sure that he knows that he has been the best boy he possibly could be. And I'm going to put him away and give him lots of treats. As he would get stronger, about six to nine months down the road and starts to build the muscling and the fitness he needs, 
I'll start to ask more of him, but right now, this is what he needs, and that's what I'm going to ask of him. This is going to be a little confusing, but I want to review one thing real quick before I get on my next horse. Whenever you're teaching a young horse or teaching a horse that hasn't done these exercises, you want to start simple and slowly build up. You don't want to just automatically give them the whole entire thing. It's almost like comparing it to telling a kindergartner to write a story. The kindergarten has to, has to learn letters, to learn words, to learn sentences, to learn paragraphs, to learn a story, which is exactly what we're going to do with our horses. So starting out, the goals are to be doing to be able to do all the exercises at the walk, trot, and canter, but we're not going to get that right off the bat, and that's okay, because we're going to improve and get better and better and better till we reach that goal. So at the beginning with the young horse, we're going to work all four exercises at the walk and then the trot only. But with the canter, we're going to work exercises backwards. We're going to start with four and go to three and then two and then one. We're going to add these exercises into their program over several months. In conclusion, I hope you see getting to see me do these exercises on my two-year-old helps you understand how to get started with you and your horse.